Okay. How you doing? I was just giving that a minute to get going. I find if I start talking too soon, I need to give it a few seconds to really start recording good. We're looking at it. Eva, the vampire. I would say Ava, but it doesn't start with an A. Uh, I guess you could say it's Ava. Eh, either way, I'm, I'm saying it's Eva. Um, that's not who we're meant to be looking at. Matter of fact, I should have brought up the mods. Give me just a second here. We're looking at a small player home, which might have some secrets in it. Let me get down there because I had to put it way low. Okay, so now I want to let you know that I had this up in my standard placement. This is Force Cottage. That's the mod we're looking at. The, the monitor doesn't say a lot about it. They do say it's a little call it cottage right outside of Riften. I'll show you where it is on the map. It's not, I mean, it's very close to Riften. I'm not trying to nitpick, but it's not right outside of Riften. I thought that would be a lot closer to town, but honestly, you know how it is. If you can walk a couple of minutes, you're there. It's not a big deal. Um, and you can fast travel to it right away, so it's not a big deal. I'll show you where it is. It's just south of the, um, what is that, honey? No. Ah, I'll show you. Um, anyway, it's a pretty big file. Now, it's not big, okay? It's just 59 megabytes. I, I, I will still say that is small, okay? But, when you look at the place here and you think, well, this is just going to be a small little place, you know. And let me show you where we are. We are just, this is the Forest Cottage. There's Rifton. And this is Golden Glow. I knew I had it wrong. It's Golden Glow Estate. We're just south of there. It's really not in a bad place at all. And it's not far from town at all. So I'm not complaining or trying to pick nit nits. I'm just saying that it's, you know, it's actually not right outside of Riften. I don't know. To put it right outside of Riften, you'd have to put it in kind of crowded areas. So I think this was a good choice. Um, I like the placement, actually. Nonetheless, if you look at this, on the outside, it's a nice little cottage. It's almost like a little hobbit cottage in a way. I mean, it's not a hobbit cottage. It's not on the ground, but it's got some nice little features. You've got little stuff outside. You've got a little kitty here. But yeah, see, you've got some little crafting. Oh, you even got a little bellows. That was a nice touch. There's no, um, I don't see a forge here, though. There is a, oh, this is the smelting. Oh, how interesting. They made that the smelter. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I hadn't seen that done before. Butter churn. What is that? You know, if you could hold stuff in there, that would make this crafting area better. Just saying. That's like these barrels, if they were usable. Nonetheless, you have a crafting area here. That's cool, right? And then here they did a bunch of little mushrooms and flowers and just all kinds of stuff. They put it in a very small area, but they did a good job. It looks nice. It's decorative as well as useful. I mean, just look here, all these things that they put out here. So I thought this was a very nice touch with the little fence and the two lights. Now, maybe I'm just too impressed with uh, with some simple goodness, but that is some, I think it's nice. It's a nice, simple touch. Now, I'm, I'm cheating. I'm going to jump up here for a minute. I think the roof looks pretty cool. That's a different style than I'm used to seeing in the game. Um, maybe you've seen that somewhere else or from a different mod. I don't know. I don't remember seeing that anywhere. Um... So overall, like I said, it's a nice touch. Now, I've been in here already, but I didn't look at everything. I just wanted to make sure that the mod was working for me. Um, as I said, I couldn't have it high in my load order. It caused some sort of issue, but I pushed it down low to the bottom of my load order, and it's fine. There's one tiny, tiny issue, which I will show you. And we might have been able to fix it, but I decided, because 
I'm on limited time right here today. I wanted to, uh, I want to be able to do a, you know, a couple of these uh, before my time is up. So, and um, aha, here we go. So, we're inside, and here's the here's the one. Let's just let's just go ahead and look at this. This is the one problem. This is a little color patch issue that happens in mods sometimes. I don't know what causes it. I can't really tell you much about it. There is a mod that fixes it, but because I had to push this down and I couldn't keep it in what I consider a normal load order spot, I decided not to move my patch down. But I could have moved my patch below it. It probably would have fixed this problem. Honestly, one little square I'm not that worried about. Um, you probably wouldn't be either, but if it does bother you, I will tell you that this is the mod you want. This removes those little color patches, and you just need your house, like this, the forest cottage. You would just need this mod above this, this color patches mod. Whether you move the color patches down to the bottom or you move the other one up, doesn't matter. Uh, maybe for future reference, I'll move this color patches down, but you know, it's kind of okay. It's kind of all right to see a mod and see, okay, maybe it has a little minor issue and we can use the, another mod to fix that and that's okay. Um, so anyway, mannequin, of course, there's always mannequins, aren't there? And um, there's all kinds of stuff here. There's a staff enchanter. They tried to have everything here. Activate pie. Hmm, it didn't do anything for me. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Activate cheese fondue. I don't know if that's supposed to give me something or put something out. Maybe, oh, I see. If it's in my inventory, I think it would put it out. It would put it on the plate. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Here's a cooking cauldron. Here's an oven. They put a lot of stuff here. Uh, there's alchemy stuff. Oh, and look at their alchemy table. Now, I like this alchemy table design better. Let's, let's get a closer look. I'll just pretend to do some alchemy. I'm not going to do any. But I, I like that design better. It gives it a more what? magical look or alchemical look or I don't know just fun <laughs> just a funner look now you do have some spell books here it's empty but you could put spell books there you have storage for a lot of things scrolls what's in this desk anything notes and papers see that would be nice um, activate quill so I guess if you had a quill you could put it down there's journals if you had journals here you could put them in there um, trying to see what all of this is. Some of this, of course, is just decoration. It's just clutter, potions, and poisons. That's cool. So they tried to give you some good storage. Now, I'm going to take you upstairs before I show you what I consider to be the secret. Let me take you upstairs. Now, there might be more secrets, but I've only found one thing that I'm referring to as the secret, okay? So, but we'll get to that. So here... Really? I can just, yep, I can just rest here on the bedroll. Okay, that's fine. I guess your follower could do that. A chest for clothes and armor. Um, some gems and uh, exquisite sapphire. I guess you could have a decoration there. Knapsack of knickknacks, which is a good name, and I would mess up trying to say that too many times. Um, we have weapons, which of course I have. I haven't put anything in here. I like this house though. I think it's very cute. Somebody went to a lot of trouble to make a nice house. And I know it's small. And maybe they didn't go to that much trouble. Maybe for them it's easy. But to me, this looks like they spent some time and made a nice looking place. I mean, even this, this roof, which is the floor of the, uh, the upstairs, is very cool. And, I, and don't get distracted by her uh, um, things. Just just look at the roof. Anyway, so, and then I like the lights, the way they did the, those are like the, kind of like the Chinese lanterns. And then these decorations, you might remember these from uh, 
you know, the vampire castle. I can't remember the name of it right now. Serana's place when you're going to find her mom. Um, okay, so the secret, the one secret thing so you might have noticed this one thing that's kind of out of place, and it has a name. I don't know what that is. Mirad Wa Varukt. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, and I'm sure I'm not saying it correctly. It doesn't really matter. If you click on that, though, it takes you somewhere. And here we go. Here you have... <laughs> <laughs> she, she, your your follower follows you, so I guess that's nice. You have a mannequin. You have bookcases for storage. You have an upgrade font, whatever that is, and I, I sincerely do not know what that is. Um, if you come around and walk through the rooms, there's more bookcases. Every one of these rooms have a kind of purpose. Like if you have certain items, there is storage for them. And some of them are just standard weapon racks, but some of them are specific. Um, and some of them are for specific armor. So that if you have these things, you could create little, you know, little collections of, of these items, which is fun. Uh, you'd probably collect most of this within, you know, a certain portion of the game. Now, if you go over here, like I said, every room has a purpose. This is more Thieves Guild, Nightingale stuff. And see, there's Chilren. I guess it would put Chilren out here. I don't have Chilren, do I? No, I do not. Didn't think I did, but just checking. Thieves Guild Storage, Guildmaster Curus, Nightingale Curus. Is that for anything special? Oh, the Nightingale Bow and the Nightingale Blade. Well, that's nice. Amulet of Articulation. Oh, and the Right Eye of the Farmer. So, hmm, pretty cool. Then if you go over here... This is more, I think, Dragonborn stuff. Because um, it has uh, Murex stuff. And the Blood Skull Blade and different things like that from the Dragonborn DLC. And the Death Brand Curus. Hmm, I don't quite remember that right off my head. But um, I'm sure if I saw it and stuff, I would see it. I would, <laughs> I would see it. I would know it. And then here are where all the, the masks go, including the wooden mask. So, very cool. And I'm not sure, activate Ruby Claw. So there's different claws. This allows you to save the claws. This is very cool. That would be very handy. Again, I feel like they put a lot of thought into this. Now, maybe... I don't know. I feel like they did. I feel like they put a lot of thought into this and they really tried to cover all the cool stuff so that you'd have a place to put things that would be fun. Oh, very nice. So, just Blades Gauntlets and the Map of Burial stuff. Map of Dragon Burial Mounds. That's cool, though. And then in here, I don't know if I came in here before. Amulet of Bats, Ring of the Beast, Vampire Stuff, Vampire Storage. Oh, I see. If you're a vampire, or if you do, yeah, once you do Serana's stuff, you're going to have different items from the Vampire Quest, the, all the Dawn Guard stuff. Okay, so that's nice. There was something else I found earlier, and I want to see if I can find it again to show you. Ring of the Moon, Totem of Brotherhood, Totem of Fear, Wolf Helmet. Is this the companion? No, this is Dark Brotherhood. Okay, so this is Dark Brotherhood stuff. And if you open this little door, they've got a cabinet for Cicero's outfit down there, which is, that's cute, you know. That was a nice touch. Um, there's places for the Ark. Now, I don't know why the Ark Mage's robes would be in here, but hey, whatever. Um, and Mage's circlet. And I guess this is just the, the Mage's wall. I guess the Mage's doesn't get a whole room. And the Dark Brotherhood has to share with the Mage's, I guess. That's okay. Um, let's go in here. Now, this is more general stuff. And there is a trick here. Now, watch that wall right there. Okay, I'm going to have to 
I'm going to have to work this a little bit, but if you watch that wall, oh, there it is. I don't know what that is, but it appears and disappears. I can't get it to stay there, so I don't know what it is, but it's something. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I, I really approve of adding the Shrine of Nocturnal and Ariel and Azura. That, you know, it's... Those are harder to find in the game. But see, did you see that? That picture flashes up on the wall at different times. I'm not sure why. So there's a lot of stuff here. And I guess it just has to do with um, the different Daedras and different rewards you can get. Um, this is the Mythic Dawn stuff. Hmm. What happens if I open the case? Uh, it doesn't really say. I thought it would tell me what it wanted in there. But this is for the Mythic Dawn robes. I guess you could drop those books in there. You'd have your own little display. Um, still, again, lots of, uh, lots of bookshelves. So, let's see. This place, I think that's everything. I don't know of anything else that is in this house. Uh, my follower is here somewhere, but I think... This place might confuse her. See how she's standing there? She doesn't seem to want to leave. I don't know if this place is nav meshed properly for her. Um, let's do a summon. Okay, that brought her here. But she doesn't seem interested in going anywhere. So it could be that she's just stuck. Not that it matters, really, if you come down here. Oh, wait. Maybe she's not stuck. Maybe I'm just not far enough away. But if you come down here, you're just going to want to do stuff anyway. You know, you don't want to be bothered all the time. It's kind of like when, when I go to cheat room, I don't always summon my followers. A lot of times I do what I want to get done. Um, so anyway, I thought this was a nice little discovery. I could have missed it, you know. And there may be things here... It's not impossible that there's something here that I missed, okay? But I saw... Um, do I have to summon her back? Did she come back with me? I don't see her. There. Um, so it's possible. I don't think I missed anything, but you can let me know if you find something. I think overall we've seen everything that I know of. It's probably plenty enough for you to know if you would like this cottage. I like it. I like the style. I like the decorations. I like the little extra room. Um, did we see... I meant to make sure that you saw the enchanting table. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Yeah, you saw it earlier. Because it's really heavily decorated, but it is the enchanting table. You can use it. See? Just wanted to make sure you knew that. So, um, highly decorative and fun, but uh, all usable and... Uh, for other crafting, like the uh, blacksmithing and stuff, you saw that was outside. So, so I think that's it for the, the forced cottage. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.